All right, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is still Tuesday, March 17th, 2020. I am really happy that you are here. We are together because I have a lot of stuff to cover with you. And I think by the end of this video, you are going to have a very, very good insight and perspective onto what's really going on. How many times have you heard me say things are not what they seem? And they are not. Things are not what they seem by a long shot. Um, and we're going to cover that. We're going to cover that here big time. Um, before I even get started, I want you to ponder this and then we're going to, we'll start. What is the job of government? Would you say the job of government is to keep and protect its people? If you say yes, you're 100% wrong. The job of a government is to survive, period. Keep that in mind as I go through this video with you. Okay, let's talk about the stock market. The Dow Jones Industrial Average put on just over 1,000 points after falling 3,000 yesterday. Historic drop in the market. Okay, all well and good. What else happened today? The 10-year yield, last time I looked, is now above 1%. This is our pivot point here. You remember I covered this a few days ago? Below, below that 1% 10-year, the market hates it uh, and is under a lot of pressure. We are now above that. How did we get there? I'm going to cover what's happening with you. Let's cover a couple of more things. Cryptocurrencies got bid higher across the board. Gold, nice gain. Silver, very volatile fell under pressure and crude oil is now right almost dead smack in the middle of my target my 25 to 27 dollar target range we're in it right now that's also um interesting to me and we're going to talk more about what's going on here with crude oil because look if you have followed my blog for any length of time i have drilled drilled into your head how important crude oil is to this market. The entire energy sector is dependent on crude oil. The entire financial sector is dependent on crude oil. Crude oil cratering is in large part why the stock market has plunged over the past few weeks. And we got a lot of fear in this market. We watched the yield curve crater. Ten-year yield is back up. What's going on? How do we make this work for us? And what can we expect moving forward? Now, have you pondered what I said? What is the job of government? It is not to protect its people. Its job is to survive. Okay. Things in our world are changing dramatically dramatically and we understand there's this trade issue which continues to go on with the United States and China we're not even close to having a real deal we know that okay so how does the United States win really win here I'm going to cover this for you and I'm going to tell you here and now, what's actually going on in these markets with this virus, with Russia, China, and the United States. The United States, for many, many years, President Trump has nailed it to the wall. Let's give credit where credit's due. Uh, has been taking advantage of America uh, through every mechanism possible. Well... We're trying to fight back, and it's not winning. We're not winning here. There's no way the American people can be sold that lie. So what 
what had to be set up? What had to be set up? The United States needs, or needed, it's already happening now, to align itself with another nation. I'm going to give you one guess of who that nation is. Russia. Why Russia? Well, let me read this to you, and, and, and let's see if we can come away with an understanding. I want to read, it's just a paragraph, bear with me. Russia has the largest reserves and is the largest exporter of natural gas. It has the second largest coal reserves and the eighth largest oil reserves and is one of the largest producers of oil. Okay, we got that out of the way. So, let me minimize this for a moment. So, how does the United States crush China by aligning itself with Russia? Okay, there you go. That's the truth. Uh, I think this is evident to a lot of people. Uh, it's been evident to me for quite a long time. But current events are really letting the pegs line up here. And we're going to cover this too again. So, how do governments get swift change to occur? By creating a crisis. Again, this is something we have seen over and over and over again since when? That's right, time immemorial. The current crisis is the coronavirus, okay? Make people afraid and you can do anything, anything at all. And that's what's going on here. But it goes back way further than this coronavirus, which again is being used or utilized um, as a mechanism to an end. A mechanism to an end. An end that's been in the works for a long time. It started with really, you know, it's been ongoing. It's been, it's been ongoing. However, with this U.S.-China trade war, which you don't hear anything about anymore, there's a reason for that. Um, it's all coming to light and you are about to see some epic change. If you think about what I'm going to cover here, in many, many ways, and I'm, I'm going to give credit where credit is due, but there's going to be a price to pay. It's actually brilliant. It's actually a brilliant scheme uh, on, on the part of, I don't want to say this is solely on the president, but on those that have put this together because it's huge. Again, in order to beat China here, the United States must align with Russia and that's exactly what's going on. Okay, so I want to cover a blow by blow as to what happened today in the market with the Fed. Um, and at the end, we're going to come away, I think, with a better understanding of what's actually happening and why it's happening. Because remember what I told you, nothing is what it seems. So let's, let's, um, let's go here. Earlier today, we found out this, and I'm going to read this to you verbatim. This is me. It appears that the Federal Reserve will start up its commercial paper funding facility. This was set up during the, the 2008 market crash to provide unlimited unlimited liquidity to the markets so this promise now of unlimited liquidity to the markets is what caused the 10-year yield to come up fear is being relieved from the market you got that okay we still have crude oil right in my target range it's about $26 a barrel remember that too okay so we have the promise here of unlimited liquidity for the market the Federal Reserve has now raised its repo operation, like I said, would happen before it did. Who else told you this? Who else explained to you that the Federal Reserve would be doing $1 trillion per day repo? I don't think there's another financial guy on the planet who called that one, but I did. Okay? Not tooting my own horn. I'm just trying to explain to you that I know what I'm talking about. Okay. So unlimited liquidity being poured into the market is very, very good. This was enough to uh, help the markets put on a 1,000 point gain today, but more importantly, more importantly, get the 10-year uh, the yield above 1%. Let's see if we get there. Let's see if we get there. 
Now, there's more talk about stimulus. I'm going to read this to you. The Trump administration is asking for an $850 billion economic stimulus plan. Note the terminology. The stimulus plan, this cash is going to go to bailouts. Why are we really bailing out industries? Again, industry-wide bailouts are coming. I told you this before it started, and it's happening now. Keep that in mind, too. All right. Um, I, I told you about the $1 trillion repo, the commercial paper. It's, it's an incredible. Now, right here, let me read this to you. As of now, as of right now, every mechanism that was in play during the 08 meltdown, bailouts, QE, commercial paper funding, and a lot more, this repo, scam, still scam, uh, is going on. Uh, so that should that should tell you that we are in a crisis here uh and again uh, every central bank they're all doing the same thing this obviously is a coordinated effort but it gets much bigger than that and goes back to the u.s china trade war a lot what we're seeing here people you have to understand we're going to get to that hold that thought here um so we found this out too today and you a lot of people are going to be happy about this. And again, um, I'm not happy about it. I don't need the money at all. Um, but helicopter money is coming. Every citizen in the United States is going to be getting a check from the government. Helicopter money, again, is a last-ditch effort to save a dying economy. But again, nothing is what it seems, and it's much, much bigger than that. Much, much bigger. Again, it's all about the alliance right now between the United States and Russia. That's how we beat China. This has been in the play for a very long time. But again, you cannot be informed of these things. The president cannot tell you because then he's going to be blamed for something. But again, put a perspective on this. I don't care what you may feel about the president of the United States here. The alignment, the U.S. here aligning itself with Russia is a direct attack on China. And China, China is going to be forced to make concessions here. That's really what's going on, but it's even bigger than that. It's bigger than even that, too. Um, you know, I want to make a joke here. Just bear with me. So Vice President Pence said, look, I, I, I'm not really putting the guy down. It's just a joke. Uh, but it's really the truth. This is what he said. He's asking construction companies to donate masks to the American people to help prevent the spread of coronavirus. Meanwhile, President Trump's uh, coronavirus task force said these masks are useless for the American people. But again, we're bailing out industries. So you get a mask that will do nothing. But again, we're bailing out industries. But, it's, but the bailouts, again, the bailouts here is a coup. It's a coup here. Um, we're getting what were public companies are now being taken over by the state. They're being nationalized. And who's providing the funds? The Federal Reserve. For all of you that believed, or maybe still believe, that the president was going to take down the Federal Reserve by, I don't know, a lot of YouTube channels out here, they were not able to see what was really going on. What was really going on here is the president was, and the Federal Reserve have teamed up here to take companies and make them and nationalize them and nationalize companies. Sound, sounds familiar to you? When the state owns corporations and assets, what is that called? Okay, again, keep in mind the alliance between the United States and Russia that is being built up. State-owned corporations, state-owned assets. Should, bells should be going off in your head here um, at this particular time. All right, so let's move forward. I hope you're, you're already coming away with the picture as to what I am explaining to you about the alliance now between the United States and Russia in an attempt really, and, it, and it's going to work. There's no way possible it can't work China with a United States-Russia alliance here. And that's what's happening. And I'll talk more about that in a second because I want you to understand how crude oil is playing a role. Crude oil is playing a critical role right now in this alliance between America 
and Russia. Um, and the silence has been deafening to me. And now today, I'm going to explain this to you since we hit my target with regard to crude oil, what is really going on here. You know what? Let's just put that together. I don't even need to scroll through this anymore. You all understand how critical crude oil, the price of crude oil being high is to the U.S. stock markets. The two largest sectors, energy and the financials, are dependent on it. Without crude oil being high, you get fear in the markets, yield curve craters, market gets decimated. Okay. What started the plunge in crude oil? Okay. It was Russia not wanting to play ball with OPEC. This started a price war. Okay. Crude oil has literally crashed. Now, President Trump and Vladimir Putin both know, and you do too, that the United States stock market is dependent on crude oil being high. So this Russia not wanting to play ball here with OPEC caused cr to crater, sucking down the United States stock market. At the same time, this virus scare is going around. You understand? Dispersed at exactly the right time. Okay. All this is connected. Now, being that industries are now begging for bailouts, again, create a problem and then offer a solution. This is the same thing on, on a micro scale, individuals, or corporations or whatever, it never changes. So, create a problem via coronavirus plunging crude oil. Now, President Trump is well aware, believe me on this, he's not stupid, how critical crude oil is to the market. As a matter of fact, big oil and big energy, there's talk today about bailing out big oil, big energy, all plays in together. So, Russia doesn't want to play with OPEC. Crude plunges. The U.S. stock market gets destroyed. That was the plan. That was the plan from the get-go to solidify the alliance between the United States and Russia. You understand? Now, corporations calling for bailouts. Boeing. Boeing is also going to be getting a government bailout. You're paying for it. The Federal Reserve is right there to give uh, supply of the funds here. So again, we have crude oil plunging by design done by Russia to bring down the United States stock market. So we, via the Federal Reserve, could nationalize these corporations. You understand? So the downside, the, the big upside here is very obvious. Okay, what are we doing? We're nationalizing corporations. We're ba the bailouts. We're nationalizing. The United States is taking a stake in in every industry right now. They're being nationalized. Um, unlimited funds by the Federal Reserve to do just that. So the president has aligned himself with the Fed. Had to. Aligned himself with Russia. Had to. Truly. In an, in an effort here to destroy China. This is war. This is a new form of warfare that you're seeing here. This is economic warfare to the highest order. And personally, it's being played perfectly. It's being played absolutely perfectly. If you think about everything I've just said to you here, What's the downside to what we're seeing here? Being that we are nationalizing corporations uh, owned by the state, if this gets out of hand, and there is a large potential to this get to get grossly out of hand, you see, absolute power corrupts absolutely. You understand? It, this is the way it works. Um, I've explained to you that President Trump is going to win the next election by a landslide, and he will. This has already been decided. 
Now, the, the main thing here, we understand, and you should understand what's happening here. The alignment here is, is something that needed to be done, okay? Truly, if you want America to win, to trade war, <laughs> well, we just won. Um, again, by aligning ourselves with, with Russia here, China is going to be left be standing there in the wind, spitting into the wind, and that spit's going right back into their face. They know that too, okay? Um, so we're going to need to see where that goes. But I believe, again, China could align themselves with another nation, but I think they're kind of dead. What are they going to do here? Uh, they're in a lot of trouble. China is in an, an enormous amount of trouble right now um, with this U.S.-Russia alliance. I cannot see a way. I can't see a way that China has any shot here of succeeding uh, in, in any kind of, in a trade war at least, with the United States, or any war with the United States with this new alliance. Again, they create a problem. This is deliberate. The Russia deliberately hit crude oil. The president's well aware of it. He has not said a word. The president did not mention not a single syllable about what Russia did, but he knew it. He knew that's what they were going to do because it was set up before. It was set up before, so all of this what we're seeing right now could happen. But again, absolute power corrupts absolutely. There is a large risk here that the American people could see a lot of their freedoms taken away here um, and their lifestyle change. I'm not saying it's going to. However, Sometimes decisions like this make for strange bedfellows. And when you're sleeping in a situation like this, okay, which has unfolded very rapidly right before your eyes, this is a coup. It's a coup. There is a new form of government which just took over the United States very rapidly. I told you on Friday the 13th of this month, Whatever was left of a true free market in a free market capitalistic society died. I meant that. And after what I've explained to you now, see, this is thinking on an extremely high out-of-the-box level. This is how the CIA thinks. This is what's been going on here for quite a while. Why do you think we've really been walling off our country? Is it really to keep out the people from, from South America? Uh, walls... Physical barriers are monuments to stupidity. Uh, that's the truth, and people always get around them if we've learned anything throughout history. So this started way before what we're seeing now. And all of this should be coming very clear to you. Understand? Um, okay, so that's where we're at. With regard to this market, we put on a 1,000 points with regard to the Dow. We got a 10-year yield above 1%. We have the promise of unlimited liquidity. Let's see how the market swallows this. We have crude oil right in my target range. What does that mean? Crude oil now, in my view, is fairly valued. Crude oil is fairly valued. Um, it could drop lower. It could go to the lower end of my... Of my uh, target range, which is 25, but now we have crude oil that's fairly valued. If crude oil here starts to catch a bid and the 10-year yield normalizes with the promise of unlimited liquidity, with the Fed buying the market, the Wall Street banks buying the market, it's possible, people, that we might have bottomed out, but we're going to see. We're going to see how this plays out. If we get more fear here, if there's some other kind of thing that comes along, the market could fall much further. But we need to see, look, this, the coup in my view, the coup in my view, has now happened. The government of the United States has changed, all right? Uh, or maybe, maybe not the, obviously the people there, but the, the, the alignment now between the United States and Russia really has been solidified here. Um, 
if now the president decides to turn around and start attacking, I don't mean militarily, because this is an economic war, going after China, and we start getting those concessions that they've been reluctant to give us, that's stock market positive. You understand where I'm going with this? As ugly as what I explained to you is, it's a brilliant plan. Um, and you got to give credit where credit's due. But this is exactly what has happened, people. You can disagree with me all you want to, but does it make sense? What does President Trump promise to do? What does President Trump want to do? He wants to win desperately against China. Can't do it. He needed to align himself with Russia, and he did. He got Russia to play ball here with OPEC, start a price war with crude oil, crude oil craters, at the same time dispersing this virus, create fear, create distraction. Do this very rapidly and boom, there you go. Some type of a new world order, uh, one way or the other. Anyway, look, I'm gonna let you go. I think this video has been probably one of the most important I have ever done. Um, I hope you have come away from this video understanding what you're seeing because I've been telling you for how long it's not real nothing is real but what I've explained to you here is real this is what just happened over the last several weeks and I think it's pretty damn epic let's see how this market responds for my lions out here you trade the market we have for everybody else you know what to do. Uh, the fact that the Fed is now applying unlimited liquidity to fuel the nationalization of corporations here means they must inflate. They must inflate. So what do you want to be in? You need to be in an anti-debt instrument. Nothing will change. Um, nothing at all. You need to be in gold, physical gold, physical silver. More specifically, I still believe in cryptocurrencies here. One more thing before I let you go. There is definitely a move here as part of what we're seeing with this new alignment here between Russia and the United States against China. Well, you know what? I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna save that for another episode. I'm gonna save that for another episode here, people, because I think I've already probably blown your mind. And this should be crystal clear to you. Where we are at, China loses. China loses, what's President Term's word? word? Bigly? Bigly here. And that has been the goal all along. I'm out of here, people. I love you. Please share the video. What do you think? Ha, ha, ha.